Lucas, thank you so much. I actually am starving. So having a little bit of this chowder for breakfast, I'm just going to go ahead and imagine that it's some absolutely delicious potato chowder. Definitely better than carrying this wine around in my pockets. Oh my gosh. <laughs> But hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to our adventures here in Echoes of Plum Grove, where I am still emotionally recovering from the death of most of my plants on the farm after learning that my husband Wilbur is a better cook and potential candy maker than he is a farmer with a black thumb. Still a little upset about that, we're gonna be okay. And we have a barn on the way and we happen to have a bake off today. Uh, also it's Saturday, so there might be some like pirates or somebody to trade with over at the pier. Very busy day ahead of us. So let's see how it goes. The trading ships bring the highest quality goods to our fair island. I'm so grateful they visit. They said that the best thing in the best things in life are free. That includes our friendship Siri. You are just so sweet. Oh my gosh. Like, I, I have some cucumber seeds. Um, what can I actually trade you, my dear? How about some of this brown dye? Oh, you can't afford that. Okay. Um, maybe I should give you something as a gift, but we'll work on it. May fortune bless you too. All right. So we need to keep moving, even though I really want to pick all these grapes and clovers, because apparently the Bake Off <gasps> is here. This cute little place. Oh my gosh. This is so adorable. You're kidding. It's like the British Bake Off. This is not what I thought we would see. Oh my gosh, Quentin. What a picture perfect summer day, as long as you're in the shade. When you get to be my age, it's important to enjoy the little things in life. Yes, Quentin, yes. How about that wild grape, eh? And then, um, how about my cucumbers I harvested? I think, I hope I won't regret giving those to you. And maybe even the, just the cucumber seeds. And, um, how do I enter the Bake Off? Uh-oh. Oh my gosh! Judges, uh, give judges the foods they request. Cycle out foods you can't make for a small penalty. Okay. Um, um, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Where are the, are there fish? Are there fish somewhere? Uh, how do I make food? How do I, okay, okay. So, uh, I can cycle out the food I can't make for a small penalty. Oh my gosh. Will the stuff I can make be here, though? Oh my goodness! I was so nervous! Oh, I didn't realize I know how to make a survival bar now, but tallow, oats, and chestnuts are not exactly easily acceptable- like, accessible to me. Um, this is so cool! This is- I didn't know what to expect, but this is not it! Do I know how to make any of those foods at all? Um, gosh! Okay, let's see, maybe the winter meal? Do I know how to make the winter meal? Can I cook in any of these places? Or one of these mine? Okay, let's see. So fruit salad, I think somebody might have. And then the winter meal, I think I saw, yeah, the winter meal. Chicken meat, pumpkin, chestnut, wild onion. Okay, uh, uh, hello? Oh my gosh, this is so cool! Wow, wild onion, chestnut, like, Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. I love this so much. You don't understand. Growing up as a little kid, I adored the old style Iron Chef where I didn't know that everyone had time to prepare for a long time ahead of the competitions to go ahead and be able to like, um, like make the food ahead of time to prepare. I thought that you just saw a surprise ingredient and had to go for it. Maybe that's actually how it is. Uh, okay, and I need the chicken meat. Um, and then what else did I need for the the winter meal? Uh, pumpkin. Okay, pumpkin, pumpkin. This is so cool. This is so cool. I love this so much. Okay, pumpkin. And then we can come over and I can make at least this. Oh my gosh, and you can just leave it be while you search. Okay, and then I don't know this rotate dish. And then the crab imperial. Oh, rotate dish. Bread and cheese I can do. Bread and cheese I can do. Okay. All right, and while that's going down, literally grab the bread. Uh, maybe it's good to have a couple extra bread just to go. And then the cheese right over here. And then I can get the winter meal. Bread and cheese, go in just a second. Do I see 
Chanterelle soup, I think is what one of the judges wants. Chanterelle, milk, butter, and onion. Okay, maybe that was one of the ones that I actually could have made for him and I didn't know. Ah, okay. Actually, I could have made that one. Okay, baked salmon. I'll have to see if I can make that. Bread and cheese. Oh, a smoothie. Okay, I actually don't know how to make the smoothie. Fruitcake? Possibly not. Um, okay, and roasted trout. Okay, fruitcake, roasted trout, and a uh, baked salmon. Can I make any of those? Okay, you're assigned your own adorable little, little spot. Uh, this is so cute. I am so happy. Oh my gosh. So I actually can't make any of the things that they asked for. We'll have to keep checking. I'll have to be really careful. Cat, can you please? Okay, rotate dish. Blackberry pie, that's also not in my my group. Oh my gosh, the tomato soup recipe. I think I literally was just about to, to learn from doing a quest. Okay, pumpkin bread, uh, I'm sorry. Swedish waffles, sorry. Pink pancakes, I'm sorry. Raspberry muffin, go souffle, sushi party waffles. Oh. <laughs> Smoothie, okay, I think I can make that soup, soup mag magri thing. Cornbread, do I know cornbread? Do I know tomato soup? Oh my gosh, that probably gave me so many penalties. Uh, but you gotta be honest, I, if I can't make it, I can't make it. Seared scallops, eggs on toast, fish tacos. Are you kidding? I know cherry pie, but not blackberry pie. Oh, oh, I know death cake. I don't know tomato soup. I don't know cornbread. I don't know raspberry muffins. I know journey cakes. I know journey cakes. Okay, and then don't know tipsy cake. I do know winter meal. Okay, winter meal I can do. Gumbo I think I can do. Gumbo I think I can do. Okay, journey cake, journey cake. Um, And then we also want the pumpkin again. And journey cake, I think, is uh, like the milk and eggs, I think, and flour. Um, and we need the chicken meat for being able to go ahead. And with the wild onions and the chestnut, make the winter meal. Go, go, go. Okay. And then journey cake, I need flour. Okay, so flour. And while the winter meal is cooking, I will go get... Let's see, the gumbo. We need to get more chicken, butter, shrimp, and corn. Okay. Okay. Chicken, uh, shrimp, butter, and then corn. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. I really don't have a lot of time left. Okay, there's that. And then the gumbo. We might be able to make at least a couple of them. Okay, give winter meal. Basic breakfast. Oh my gosh. I don't think we're going to be able to pull this off in time, but if we can, it'll be amazing and I will be so proud of us. Okay, I think I need these things for a basic breakfast. Uh, maybe. I wonder if you get penalized if you like take too much food. Okay, there's that. And then basic breakfast. Uh, we'll do that. Journey cake. Can I make that? Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Give gumbo. Give basic breakfast. Give journey cake. <sighs> oh my word. There we go. That was so cute. That was like one of my favorite festival I've ever done my entire life in any pixelated, pixelated universe I've ever lived in. That's right, baby Clover. He's staring at me like, Mom, why were you so tense? That was so exciting. I loved that so much. I'm tr this, it's been an inspiration, Quentin. I wish I could just, just shake his hand. Just shake his hand. The winner is me. <gasps> it's me. We did it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I worked my, my, my everything off in order to do that. And it was awesome. I knew collecting all of those quest recipes was worth it. It's an honor to just bestow upon you this rare recipe, along with a cash prize. Is this literally how I get my cash cow? You're kidding, right? Thank you everyone for coming. We had an excellent competition this year and look forward to next year's. Like, absolute heck, we totally do. 
Okay, 500! And I have a blueberry cream cake and I got a little chef hat and I learned the blueberry cream cake recipe. And Alice, I think you actually gave me the cute little chef hat again. You're adorable. I really love it. It's like a little bonnet. Linen fabrics are light and breathable. Perfect for summer. Brady's a good kid, no matter what, right? You know, no matter what, right? Wow. Wow. That was awesome. That was really awesome. I'm really happy. I wish that I could like spend some money getting some other things for my family so that they could go ahead and here, we'll just go ahead and put the hops and maybe the hop seeds over here. And I'll trade the brown dye to Alice because she probably wants that. I will finally keep this little bonnet that she keeps trying to give me because she has been trying to give me that bonnet for like ever. And the blueberry cream cake, I think I should take that home and give it to Lavender. Little Lavender probably absolutely deserves that. I'm, I'm just so grateful to her. I, we have some clam chowder. I think I can go ahead and, and, and just pretend it's potato chowder to eat. I need this, I need this cloth to possibly make cheese or candy makers. Thank you, Alice. I'm exhausted. That was awesome. That was so awesome. And Tom got me a little, like, pirate hat thingy. And he got me a witch's hat. I just can't thank you enough, Tom. Oh, my word. I feel like, like, look at this. We've got the cute little witch's hat. That's so adorable. We've got this cute, like, adorable, like, little pirate hat thingy. It's the same hat he has. Maybe he knows I'm more into that than the hat his wife keeps giving me. <laughs> wow. Wow. Hi, cat. It's good to see you, too. I... This was awesome. This was so much fun. I don't even know what direction to, like, go in right now. I think I can trade two more of those lavender away if we really wanted. Now she has the tomato soup and, like, more more chowder. Um, I don't think she's selling anything I can give to anybody right now. There was that ghost that really wanted some wine, but I just could not get it for him. That's... I am so happy. I'm keeping all of the hats. Could we go ahead and could we turn that hat in so that we could get a bit of money? Yeah. Yeah, we could. Am I gonna? Nah. Also, oh, I don't even have to go to the pier to trade with the Empire today. Um, a Michael Potters. It would be nice to stay a while, but there's yet work to be done in the name of the Empire. What do you think of the ship? She's a beauty, right? Well, we're in the middle of the forest right now, sir, but I appreciate... Oh, fudge. The paint. And he actually has some cloth too, so that we could probably make the candy maker. And he's got sugar. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Okay. Okay, it would be 622 for the two paint. How many paint do I need for. I need five paint, I have two, so I need at least three. So I need to have 933 gold to give to the Empire in order to try to get enough of the resources to upgrade my little house. Oh. Okay. Right. Right. Oh boy. I'm nowhere close to that, even if I trade my cute little bonnet, am I? And not to mention, I... He's got... We need 1,000... We need another 1,500... Or 1,090... Coins. Ah! Uh, you know? We'll start with one bucket of paint. And we'll... We'll come back for more. <laughs> wow. Thank you. At least now we know what we need to do in order to go ahead and, and complete that. Um, oh, and I guess for Clark, I could go ahead and get a couple journey cakes and we'll think about that. Yeah, okay. I think I'm about to be doing a little bit of fishing, to say the least. If Edwin happens to be here... Edwin Chesney? Edwin Chesney? Hello, Martha. Hello. How are you today? You have two journey cakes I could actually grab from you to complete that quest. I just might. And she's also got a peach cobbler. Um, and Martha, in exchange, I'm just going to give you this single cotton that I have. 
Thank you. Thank you. Fairly well. All right. That was pretty exciting. Not gonna lie. And now I need to figure out how to get a bunch of paint from the Empire. I'm... Wait, I have a fishing buff right now? <gasps> Better fish! Okay, uh, well, I know what I'm about to be doing in just a second here. So where do I need to go fishing? I need to get some crayfish. I also need... You know what? We should just... Oh, could I go to the bog in time? <sighs> could I get to the witch's bog in time? Because... That is the question. I would arrive at, okay, 6.23 is still, believe it or not, early enough in the evening that we might have a witch's chance in heck to actually get some of those turtles. So down we go. <laughs> okay. Wow. Bake Off, now officially, one of my absolute favorite things we've ever done. Um. I need to change my lure, I think, just to the normal lure because now my other favorite thing that we need to get done is look, well, I think the toads might be found with a rare lure. The turtles are the ones that are found with the plain one. And the toads would definitely give me a lot more benefit because the doctor would give us some medicine that I could trade because I need, I need <laughs> the paint. And life's gonna just be interesting from here, okay. So let me go ahead and try the rare lure for just a minute. Oh, that's cute. I didn't mean to put on the witch's hat. Maybe I can give little Lavender the bonnet because I kind of want to keep this hat. It's, it's sort of awesome. That's a crayfish. Those are crows. There's a lot of crows. Are they here because I put on the hat? I will laugh so hard if they're here because I put on this hat. Am I now, am I now like Siri of the crows? Is that how this works? All right, come on. I need more than the crayfish. Do I need an epic lure to get a toad? Do you have any, any advice for me crows? Oh my gosh. Okay. So I don't think that's going to work. What if we try the epic lure? The thing is, once it hits 8 p.m., then, well, different fish decide that they want to come out at night. And that may not help me with my endeavors. Toad? Frog? <laughs> but at least I got a gold quality frog, I guess? I'm gonna... I mean, toads are supposed to be in bogs. Maybe I need, like, one of those shellfish lure things. I'm getting a lot of frogs. Somehow I'm ending my day in the bake-off having a blueberry cake, one bucket of paint, and a bunch of frogs in my pocket. Literally nothing about any of those statements surprises me about myself. Huh. All right, guys, while I still have this little boost to our fishing, I will continue carrying on searching. I'm beginning to really think since they're maybe at the bottom of bogs, I need to go ahead and like get that maybe the crustacean thing to be able to get the toads if they're even here uh and then what a busy day then we'll go home if the kid's awake we'll give her some blueberry cake and we'll see what we can make out of our future from there so i'll see you guys next time Bye bye